Hello Thrivers, welcome back to Thrive the Matrix, where we help each other thrive reality not as it could have, would have, or should have been, but as it is. Today I'm coming to you with a special episode of I'm a Narc, Get Me Out of Here, Celebrity Edition, in which we use our experience, the DSM-5, and other resources to theorize on if the celebrity in question has narcissistic personality disorder, or NPD, or narcissism. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer, I am a certified professional life, happiness, and cognitive behavioral therapy coach. I am not a clinician, thus I am not a therapist, psychiatrist, or psychologist, and for that reason, we always theorize, never diagnose, and absolutely never theranose. As mentioned in today's episode, we'll be taking a look at the infamous Sean P. Diddy Combs, his alleged crimes and associated behaviors. Diddy? Only a jury can decide, and in that, the presumption of innocence applies in court. Alas, we're in the court of public opinion. I'll be providing a brief overview of MPD, or pathological narcissism, before we discuss P. Diddy, providing context along the way, including our look at the man, the mess, that baby oil though, and the case. Typically, the assessment or opinion is shared at the end, but Puff Daddy and what is alleged seems to me a huge referendum on narcissism and the damage it causes, and spoiler alert, there's some narcissism there there. So much so that I've decided to break this up into a series of videos, each exploring some aspect. As background, earlier this month, the Southern District of New York handed down an indictment for the arrest of Sean Diddy Combs, aka Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Diddy, and most recently Love, hashtag red flag. The indictment charged Diddy with running a criminal enterprise that committed racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion, transportation to engage in prostitution, and other crimes including weapons charges, drug possession, and even arson. This allegedly, or this enterprise allegedly committed these crimes in the service of coordinated freak-offs, you heard that right here in, in the news and on other channels, freak-offs in which Diddy would gratify his sexual desires after coercing victims via drugging and violence to participate in day-long orgies that sometimes included the need for IV drips for participants to recover. Before we get into it, NPD or Narcissistic Personality Disorder is a mental disorder characterized by pathological narcissistic defense mechanisms designed to maintain a false self constructed to protect one from an inherent core feeling of shame. Those with MPD have so much shame, in fact, they believe they are irredeemably bad, so much so that if anyone discovered how bad they really were, it could literally destroy them. The stakes are that high. Thus, their fragile ego and fake personas need to remain intact, which results in the devaluation, manipulation, and abuse of others to maintain their perceived superiority. Thus, the gaslighting, projection, deflection, future faking, control, coercion, etc. that causes so much damage to those in their orbit. Breaking this into parts, today we're going to cover part one, the extreme entitlement of P. Diddy. Before we begin, P. Diddy is a world famous record producer and music executive. He was in the Guinness Book of World Records as one of the most successful music producers of the 90s and is an MTV Global Icon winner. He discovered artists like Mary J. Blige, Usher, and of course the notorious B.I.G. To the non-narcissist, it seems gobsmacking to think that Sean Combs can be so arrogant and entitled to have expected bail and to plead not guilty to RICO and S trafficking charges handed down by the Southern District of New York, which has a 95% conviction rate. Remember, narcissists need reality to reflect the grandiose false self they've created to hide their deep feelings of shame. Emphasis on the word need. This need and many others take precedence over all others, not least of which the needs of other people. It may seem the narcissist is delusional in their need to bend reality to their will, and in most cases, they have to be. After all, how can someone examine their misdeeds while maintaining the false self of perfection projected to the world? That's the only thing that stands between the narcissist and their perceived destruction due to their core shame. That's simply not going to happen. In a later video, we will theorize on P. Diddy's core shame, what drives or drove his alleged behavior. Narcissists also live in the moment and have to satisfy endless need for gratification in real time. So when forced to choose to get these needs met and weigh any possible negative consequences, the narcissist will choose gratification almost every time. Should there ever be consequences, the narcissist will do what he or she has always done, fulfill the need to avoid the consequences in that moment. Thus, narcissists rarely take accountability. 
This dynamic makes actions and consequences confusing and tricky for narcissists and people who are dealing with them. In the case of Bill for Diddy, what bearing would the crimes in the indictment have on the matter when his counsel, after all, traveled with him to New York to turn himself in and offer a bail package that met the moment? It's astounding that Diddy pleaded not guilty to this serious set of federal charges, but most likely not to him. However misguided, ask yourself, if Sean Combs was able to get his needs met in such extreme ways, in plain sight of so many people, with so many victims, for so long, why should he believe he won't be successful in meeting his immediate need for an acquittal now? Just something to consider. So that's the entitlement of P. Diddy. Join me for part two, and we're going to examine the extreme deficit of empathy that contributed to these alleged crimes. In the meantime, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and for other series from Thrive the Matrix. Until next time, Thrivers, stay up.